Oh dear. So many evil robots. Let's go with this guy. Up in the hills. He looks friendly. It's Armored Armadillo. And actually, this is not the robot mister I meant to take. Let's do it anyway! As we go down the hill. What the heck? So many bats. So many platforms. You've gotta love it. And this is an excellent place to grind, in case you need energy. To fill up your tanks, in case you get a game over. But in the meantime, since I'm not trying to get game overs, we'll move forward. Because it's actually a good idea. Hug your sides carefully. Oh dear, that's the crusher. You don't want to mess with the crusher. Instead, you want to sneak up behind it and take the energy tank. Oh dear, it's clearing a path. Not necessarily for us. Because if you're fast enough, you can get those energies up there without it destroying the ledges you need to get up there. Never fear. The ice is here. To create another platform for us. Not high enough. Oh well. Hey! Instant looking helmet. Oh yeah, fire wave. If you charge it up, you use energy while you're doing it. You get a rolling flame. Like I said, limited use. But I shouldn't fall into spikes. Because it would instantly destroy me. Mega Man is weak versus spikes. That's his robot master weakness. Don't tell anybody. Well, he will build a room full of spikes. Actually, Sigma might have plans for that. Don't tell him, please. See if they're little spikes. It's alright. But if it's about picking up ones ups, Sigma will not be pleased. And down here I go to have fun. To ride my wacky wheels. Wacky wheels? Whoop! Fortunately, if you're in your invulnerability stage after you get hit, the spikes won't do you doom. And now I want to destroy this guy really fast. Takes a lot of hits, but with the right weapon. You can get this before he destroys the platforms you need to get up there. The walls, I should say. Got enough spikes at Mega Man. And I can ride this out and be cool. And usually not get hit. But look out for falling penguins. They don't want to chill with us. And you can get up there and get that energy. And also, this place will hold a secret. But not for a very, very long time. So through the door I go. To take on Armored Armadillo. Armadillo? I don't have his weakness. I know, I know. You know his weakness. But I can take him out with a buster. It'll just take longer. And he's a roller coaster. A roller coaster of not so fun. So I hope you know your geometry. I hope you avoid that. 
He's absorbing my energy. What the heck? And I have to time my jumps carefully. What the heck? This guy is armored to the core. So I have to time my shots carefully and not get blown up. It's okay. I got extra lives. Extra Mega Mans. Extra Mega Men. And now that I'm full energy, I shouldn't have as big as a problem. So I'm gonna want to charge up and hit him at the right time. I should have came in here with full charge. He almost always starts out with a roll. I should let him do his charges. Three, four, and he goes back to being roly poly oly. Roly poly oly. Does anybody remember that? I do, but you probably don't know want to know why. So the wall is your friend. Unfortunately, the wall is also his friend. And if you can, after his fourth chart barrage, get a hit in. Well, sometimes it's three. A little early. Now if I had his weakness, this fight would be over in six shots. Because one hit with his weakness will disable several of his attacks. Oh dear, he's using his charge. So I better use my charge too. Oh no, it's an endurance fight. Can Magma certainly do better than this? Certainly he can. Can I provoke this guy to quit being a jerk? Not really. I'm not 100% sure on this, but contact with a robot master will hurt more than his actual weapon. Just not soon enough. Timing is very important in Mega Man games. Timing of your jumps and attacks. And my sanity. The further you can get him on the edge, the better. So if he is going to be a jerk, push him to the edge. I don't mean push him to the limit. That would be a terrible song.
and I apologize for the length of this battle, but it was over. And I did it with the Buster and a few sub tanks. I never said I was great at this game, I'm just good at it. So before I dig myself a deeper hole, let me get out of here. You keep on rolling. Now the rolling shield isn't that powerful. You think it would be. And it totally did not relate to the armored armadillo's weapon. But the charged up version? Well, I'll show you in the next video. And then I'll go to the robot minister. I meant to do in this video.